What's good guys? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, you know we're supposed to have sporadic showers and 50 degree weather today and instead it's sunny and beautiful. So I've been actually cleaning as much as I can. Getting everything organized so we can jump on the next progress. But look at this lying leather man. Let's get all this turned off real fast. And see where we're at here started mocking things up to make sure everything has fit got that side welded in basically ready to clean it all back up and seam seal it and if we look in here we got a gas pedal a brake pedal i just gotta bolt the clutch in and hang it and it should all be good now we can go ahead and start cleaning i need to clean everything out 10 times of trying to film clips later and the dog won't quit barking, so we're not gonna stop because of that. So that means let's take it all back apart. But for all that, let's jump into a time lapse and clean this junk out. to have something clean to work on again. Everything is how we want it exactly. I'm gonna probably bring an air blower in here real quick and just get all this off so I can, there's a bunch of water and everything from me pressure washing the outside here. But before we go look at all that, everything is mocked up, everything is bolted in place. Everything is nice and solid. We know the clutch will all fit because it just hangs from that. So I guess now it will be disassembly so we can get some tape on this side, which we went through and pressure washed. And I want to seal across this top and then down across the bottom, how the factory would have. So I'm basically just going to take some paintable caulking and smear it all over a gloved finger and wipe it on all of that, which we're going to jump into now, removing everything. with the rack in place. We now know we can do the lines. Alignment's still spot on because we just swapped tie rods from rack to rack. But the big thing that's itching to get done and it's killing me that I can't sit in it and just, you know, make race car noises and <laughs> noises. Oh, I did that kind of good. Is I need this dash in, so going to jump ahead, drop the column down, and get into cutting this dash. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do it. Stop being a pussy. Thank you. 
get. Mm, let me show you guys. And then get you back in there. Jeez. I swear. Cut real quick. A little grinding to make a circle off camera then. <laughs> now it's a monsoon. You ever get the feeling that someone, something is bad that you just did something? Like cut up a pristine right hand dot drive dash? I can't even talk because it's now freaking. It's like as soon as I cut it, it's like whoa. Instant, instant. Ugh. But I think that's it. That's lined up that for there boys. Let's get some hardware and mock this guy up. But that's not so bad. Holy crap. Look at that rain. Those are some big boy drops. Ah, uh, attack. But, whoo. Let me get that slam back up and get some hardware in this thing. This is ridiculous. Jesus. I don't even know if you could pick that up on camera. I am steaming my ass off right now. But, I'm hoping this was worth it. Just maybe. It is the next day, and we can see we have some sun. But we also have some of those guys. And again, it's expected showers. And after getting my butt kicked yesterday and being soaked, and not getting the progress done that I wanted. Let's see where we're at. Everything is mocked up. Everything is actually in place. I didn't throw these bottom bolts in, but I did get some top ones in. I gotta go through and wipe everything down now because of course the rain made everything all spotchy and nasty. But, Let's see, with that being said, I got yelled at yesterday for how wet I was when we went to the store. My old lady uh, wasn't thrilled with how soaked I got. So, I was rewarded with a $30 canopy to try and keep myself wet. Or not wet. I'm still half awake. But, uh, you know, could have gotten a pop up garage. We have a one car garage with a carport behind it, and everything is just full of other projects right now. So, we're going to set this thing up real quick and then actually get some work done on the 240 today. Now that is a cheap ass way to do stuff. $30, can't complain. Because now, I can stand under here, because I know it's gonna rain. Oh boy. Well, let's get some stuff going. Well, that took 10 times longer than expected, but it looks like shit. <laughs> This is so we can get to the inside. Swing my big ass legs up from over this. And what we're gonna be using here is, I have what's left of some of that. And a full tube, just paintable latex acrylic caulking. Basically, seam sealer. I know some people are gonna be like, you've done this entire process not the correct way. And now you're using shit that's not right either. But you know what? It works. Everything bolts up how we're supposed to and it's gonna come out decent. We're just looking for an average street car. No professionalness, nothing crazy over the top. This is just something simple and average, like the channel. The fun part is actually squeezing up under here.
see if we can get you under here. Nope, got a booger. Got to clean that off. But we went all the way down, all the way around. Basically anywhere with the seam not split. Ooh. And then we replicated the top one. And all the tape is holding everything. So once this gets set up and dried, pull the tape off. And then we'll go through this side, seam seal this side. And then it will be ready for paint. But in the meantime, let's mock the fenders up and get the front end back on. Got this guy back on. And now, let's start working on figuring out what we're gonna do to mount those bars, lights, back here, under the, oh, that didn't work, under here. So we're obviously gonna fill this in, and then we'll have this little strip left where the LED will go. But I want to pick up off of this point in the bumper to hold it up and swoop back down, obviously. Similar to what they had, but not as janky and ugly. So let's jump into that. Let's get this turned off. Got one side of the bracket done. Nothing too fancy, nothing too shabby. Holds it where I want it. I got it sturdied up, so we're gonna triangulate from the back to this corner. And then this one, looks like it was broken before and someone tried to get a fix it, so we'll fix that. But that one, looking a little better. Starting to get the first coats down. Probably just gonna go with the lacquer black on the lower rails because you won't see it and the core support. I've decided we're gonna do a cap and a quick little bumper there, but we'll do that in another episode. So now that this is sealed on the outside, I can wipe down all the overspray. And of course, we ran out. So the bars, the upper bar, and the bases of the struts were all we got, but do the rest of this and up to the windshield next. Beautiful sunny day, but while well, all of that goes ahead, I figure we'll jump in here. Since this is all good to go, we can start laying this back out, which clearly looks like a lot of fun. So let's jump into this and flipping a left hand drive harness, and figuring out how it's going to go about fitting in a right hand drive car. Well, after spending about 10 minutes, we got the fuse box upside down, actually, where it goes. Everything routed over, cluster stuff comes out the way it's supposed to, and we're going, we're going, and, uh, wait, what? Huh? The car was running and driving, it had all the working lights, you know, everything seemed fine, I don't understand what all of these must do because I'm not familiar with 240 stuff I do know I had this ground hooked up but I'm guaranteeing if I undo this bundle you can see this is this is all that really is hooked up is what 10 wires two big powers it looks like and then I see fuel pump wire and like turn signal wiring so if this is all I need and this isn't this is all just garbage besides this ground which i can see goes to multiple grounds so there's a solder joint in here where it's a bundle i'm thinking this just turned into a whole bigger job because normally i would tape that over and you wouldn't see it but i'm trying to get this a little nicer and if none of this is required and all i need is this we're gonna go through and delete all of this which is all pop-up stuff i'm guessing and get rid of all of it and we're going to do what I'm assuming would be a typical old-fashioned 240 fuse box relocation. 
get the 240s harness laid out up front, I guess. Everything's looking all nice with the carbon mist, so we'll start routing the harness out here, I'm assuming. But before I jump into that, we're going to call today's episode here. It's getting a little bit later and dinner time for the kids, so you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. We got a box of parts here behind us to get ready for tomorrow and the next day, and a few more projects to tackle after that. So we'll see you guys around. Yeah.